Welcome to the UC Davis Health System. Every day, our faculty, staff, and students are creating a healthier world through bold innovation. And our Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine is a key part of making that happen. We're engaged in almost every aspect of clinical care here. We are a core part of the clinical care team, and without uh, pathology and the information we furnish, I don't think clinical care could actually happen. With the advent of next generation sequencing that we're bringing into the clinical laboratories, it gives us the ability to look at the whole genome. We're going to be able to go and not only identify disease-causing um, alterations, but also be able to go and predict health. This is actually a very exciting time because of the wealth of new tools that are now at our disposal to help understand and in fact even intervene in disease processes going forward. These include such things as extensions to normal microscopy that allow pathologists to look at as many as 10 or even potentially 100 different molecules or proteins on a single slide at the same time. The unique tools that we are developing and we are making available for pathologists are super resolution microscopes. These are microscopes that can resolve ob objects that are much smaller than the diffraction of light. It allows them now to look at objects inside cells, organelles, that could not be before observed. So therefore, it allows them to perform a better diagnosis. One of the exciting parts of technology is that it does allow us to bring our services to distant locations, to places that maybe doesn't have all the expertise that we have here. And one of the ways we're doing this is with telemedicine. We connect with physicians and hospitals in rural communities and support cancer care by interacting with them at a distance with an entire tumor board. A virtual tumor board is really the classic tumor board. You have a variety of experts from a variety of disciplines, uh, radiation oncology, you have pathologists, you have oncologists, you have surgeons, and there's a general discussion about the case. With virtual tumor board, the patient doesn't necessarily have to come here. When we can put it all together electronically, then we can beam it anywhere it needs to go. It allows the interdisciplinary interaction about each patient's case to be able to individualize the treatment for that patient's tumor. An exciting area where we're using new technologies is in our point of care technologies network. We are one of four centers funded by the NIH. And the focus of our point of care technologies is basically for disaster preparedness. We're creating new tools that can be brought to the patient's side in a disaster when hospitals have been destroyed. We brought something that is normally used in a clinical lab using PCR polymerase chain reaction. It looks at the organisms based on their nucleic acid, their genetic makeup. And we can detect MRSA in about an hour. Burn patients have a substantial amount of infections. About 97% of them who have 20% or more burns will get septic. And they will take the sample from the patient and then we'll be able to test it properly using our test and report back the result if it's MRSA or staph so that the doctors can select their antibiotics much more quickly we're creating these technologies so that they can withstand the extreme circumstances that occurs in a disaster. And of course, by creating these technologies for a disaster, they'll find applications right here at home in everyday life too. We definitely deal with a lot of coming up with technologies to bring health care to the point of need. And that's where the future lies, including as we move towards personalized medicine. Collaborations is an important component of our work. We have people with backgrounds in physics, chemistry, biology, medicine, and collaborations include institutions such as Lawrence Livermore National Labs. I think that's unique for us, to be able to envision the future, help create it, if you will, with other institutions that are kind of in the same sort of leading edge, and rather than react to changes. We are sitting in a time and among experts that can really help us do that uh, in a very innovative way. The new tools that we have and also the new outlook, the new willingness to engage on, on different and non-traditional fronts means that from being perhaps one of the most conservative disciplines around, uh, pathology has the chance to actually lead the field in terms of diagnosis and in fact even guided therapy. Pathology is changing a lot and healthcare is changing a lot and a lot of it is due to new technologies that are really driving this change. 
We think it's really important here to be leaders in making that change happen, in creating the tools and implementing them and testing them and training our students and residents to use these in the future.